Willie D. Live. What's up, family? Question. Hypothetically speaking, if you died, how sure are you that your friend would not try to move in on your significant other? This is the case of one Bobby Womack. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've never heard, Bobby Womack is one of the worst human beings to ever walk the planet. If what people are saying about him is true. Bobby Womack and Sam Cooke were friends. They became friends when Bobby Womack and his brothers opened for Sam Cooke at one of his concerts. They fast became business partners and that business relationship developed into a friendship. So Sam Cooke thought. Then when Sam Cooke died, after he was tragically murdered, guess what Bobby Womack allegedly did? Bobby Womack wore Sam's suit to his funeral, drove Sam's car to his funeral, and guess who was in the passenger seat riding shotgun? Ding, 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 you guessed it. Sam Cook's wife. Good Lord. Just days later, after Sam Cook was buried, Bobby Womack and Sam Cook's wife, Barbara, who's now his widow, began a whirlwind relationship. Oh man, it was cutting the carpet. Three months after Sam is buried, they got married and went on with their life. Man, can you do something? I can't do it. I could not do something like that. I couldn't do it. But Bobby Womack did it. Barbara Cook did it. Cold game, man. This is cold blood. This is a cold blooded story. Now the whole time, that Bobby and Barbara is carrying on. Bobby loses support at radio stations. Fans desert him. People don't really want anything to do with him. Uh, even his own family turned their back on him. In fact, Barbara's family turned their back on her too. At least somebody had some class and dignity. I ain't got no problem with that. But Barbara and Bobby did. They tried to make it work. For five years, they carried on. And then their relationship came to an abrupt end. Guess what happened? Barbara walks in on Bobby in bed with guess who? Her own daughter, Linda. 17. Bobby's stepdaughter, who he had raised since she was 11 years old. Gets worse. Sam Cook's brothers track Bobby Womack down at a hotel in Chicago and beat the brakes off his ass. I'm talking about pistol whip him, break his jaw. Little old street justice. And I ain't got no problem with that. Moving on. Bobby Womack had a brother. His name was Cecil. Cecil was once married to Mary Wells. Mary Wells is responsible for the song, My Guy, the hit song, My Guy. Cecil and Mary's marriage came to a screeching halt when Cecil discovered that Mary was having an affair with his older brother, 
Curtis Womack. Oh, it gets worse, fam. Not only was she having an affair with this man's brother, she allowed him to run up in her raw and impregnate her. So that gets all busted up. Fast forward, Cecil remarries a couple of years later to none other than Linda Cook, Sam Cook's daughter, Bobby Womack, his brother's stepdaughter. Good Lord. The Womacks. Good Lord. What? What a scandalous tribe of people. None of them got any integrity. None of them. I'm talking about a riding tree that those apples fell from. Man, and you know what, fam? That's just their story. Some of us right now have been in some of those same type of relationships. Somebody right now listening is probably in something like that right now. I couldn't do it. Wow. Can't trust it. Can't trust it. This is why they say keep your friends close and your enemies closer. A lot of times, you be thinking somebody is your friend, and the whole time, they are your enemy. And that enemy was real close. I mean, Sam put them on, man. If it wasn't for Sam Cook, we would not have possibly even known of Bobby Womack. Sam put them on, and that's the way he repaid them. And who knows, you know, Sam Cook was murdered. Y'all be careful out there, family. No more talk.